It is hot. I think it's around 95 today, and the humidity is up there. So we've been we've been trying to get this hay dry. It was almost it was dry to bale yesterday, and we had it out to bale, and then it rained. So the quality of this hay went down, and uh, we're just getting it cleaned up now. Making round bales out of it, uh, feed the cows with it. Uh, so if it was better better quality, we would make small squares. That's what we were planning to do yesterday. And uh, it's not, it got rained on. So the rain was good, hard to complain. So here we are, uh, our neighbor Adam with the round baler, he come over, he's, he's bailing up for us and uh, makes quick work of it, that's for sure. He can do a lot more acres than we can in a day uh, with that round baler, so that's it. Stop. Nope. Whew, she stopped. Well, good morning. We've been getting our first cut in hay all hauled home. Uh, Uncle Ronnie, he's been in the dump truck hauling that home and just dumping them down. So now it's time to get them all stacked up and covered. Uh, I think we got rain coming in tonight, so we're going to try to get that done, get them all covered up before that. They've been just laying around out in the fields uh, of all the places we've been, we've been bailing the hay. And, uh, now we've got to preserve it, get it covered up. This is our winter feed for the cows. So that's what's going on today. So we just stack them up. We put down four, three, two, and one, making a big triangle. So it sheds water nice and uh, keeps the hay dry. Wind can still blow in through from the end and uh, keep it aired out. So we don't get mold issues, but uh, that's it. You get a little spoilage on the bottom, the bale's sitting on the gravel, but other than that, it works great. And then uh, we just use a, a silage cover. That way uh, we just cut it off as we, as we go, as we get into each, each next row. And uh, instead of dealing with a tarp flapping in the wind. Um, so yeah, that's what we do, we cover it. We put, we put gravel down on one side, probably tires on the other. Um, to hold it down and and then uh, with the tarp you have to want to save it uh, by using a silage cover we just cut it off and it, it just keeps a clean face and uh, makes it easier getting at it in the winter time too when you're feeding it so get some video of stacking these up uh, we got a pretty good pile of them here to deal with so, and there's a bunch more to come we'll be bringing more in today and in the next few weeks, after we get done with wheat, we gotta get this done, get the, uh, put the tailgate back on the dump truck. We took that off for hauling uh, bales home, so that's what's going on today. down and then on the next tier up we'll keep it about half back so it's covering two different bales and it'll give it a little strength for standing up uh, if we just stack them straight up. They sure want to tip over. Jimmy and I are heading out to collect some round bales. Uh, we got a storm coming in. It's getting real windy now. It, it could rain anytime, so we're gonna get the rest of the round bales moved home. Uncle Ronnie's following us in the dump truck. He's back there right now. He's back there. So we're heading out, we're gonna load them up. We'll show you uh, why we have the, the tailgate off the dump truck and uh, get some bales on there, get them home, and then we're gonna stack them and get them covered for the rain, we hope. Right, Bubba? Yes. 
Yes. A corn on the cob cheese stick. So, all right, we're rolling. So we're stacking them too high on the flat edge, and then we carry them up like that and put them in the dump truck. Our lift gate doesn't lift high enough. To be able to do this with them on, they sometimes hit when we're unloading. So kind of frustrating, but we can deal with it. We just pop the uh, tailgate off. So. But we need to hurry up and get this done because it has to go back on so that we can do wheat. So this is a mix of dry hay, alfalfa, uh, made up of alfalfa, timothy, and some grasses, native grasses here. Uh, so we just stockpile this for the winter uh, when the cows are not on pasture. So this is, uh, this is what they eat in the winter time. Okay, last one for this field. gave us the thumbs up. So he's gonna strap it in and go. No, what's that buddy? No, this is the last of it. So we're gonna go home and get them stacked. He's gonna pull ahead and they'll fly out of there. We'll stack them up. What's it gonna take for a long time? You in some kind of hurry? You are? Yes. So these, these are pretty easy to get. That last one on top, that is, it's pretty high for us. So we have to grab that bale right at the very bottom. And uh, to get it up there. It's a little tricky, but it's doable. to reach when I wish it was farther in we might be able to push it oh, that worked out maybe this is the hardest one and then after we get this one established and then we keep working our way along uh, we have a little something to push against and it'll be easier there we go look at that that is not bad can't complain about that it's a little gremlin out here. Take a rock, put it in where we want it, twist it up. Let's see, we're gonna twist it this way to pull the bottom up. Pretty tight. That's gonna be good. Okay.
on your shirt. My shirt, a monkey. Well, we got our hay covered before the rain, and uh, we left the one end. It's kind of open. We just secured it temporarily because we'll be adding on. Uh, we'll be putting more hay, stacking more um, out from here. So this is just kind of temporarily secured. But the back side, which is the windward side, is secured good. Why don't you guys climb through? I'll meet you on the other end. This end's just tied off temporarily, and then we'll we'll bring more hay in and add on, keep going out from here. We put the gravel down just to hold the plastic down from the wind, and uh, there's no places where wind can get under it to blow it up. So that works pretty well for us. And then uh, as we use it, we just cut this plastic off, the extra, so it works good. I'll show you the back, how we secure here. This is the windward side. And Hi. Oh, kids are popping out. So we got a whole bunch of points secured. We want air to go through, but we don't want this plastic blowing up. So it's real tight. As you look down the side, it's nice and tight. And then uh, what we do is we just take and twist a rock up inside of here and then wrap the twine around tight, girth hitched on itself, bring it back down to a stake and tension it down real tight because this stuff is gonna stretch. So we get it banjo tight. So we've got secured there, there, and up at the top, we've got three all together. One there in the middle and then the one on each side. So that holds the top down and then another one coming down the side over here just so it doesn't start flapping. If this starts flapping, it starts tearing and then we have trouble. But this works well for us. This will this will hold up all winter. At least it always has so far for us. So, right boys? Yep, sure. And those are, those stakes, they're just pushed in or pounded in and they work good. They don't ever pull, pull out, so. That's how we cover our hay. And then this here, this is where, as we're feeding, we just take a knife up at the top, up there, we just cut down. We'll just cut right down and throw that away. Feed those bales. When they're gone, we'll make another cut. We just keep doing that. And instead of dealing with a tarp that blows around and falls down on you and you're trying to lift it up and drive under. We've tried that, that was a pain in the ass. So, here we are. We have a lot more to do, but this gives you a really good idea of what we what we do to cover it. So, covering hay. Thanks for watching.